basically to get the image when you print, you have millions and millions and millions of little letters, tiny steel letters. And every page has to be set up individually. And you go that way with the words. And you go that way, no, sorry, that way with the page, because it has to be a reverse image. Mm. So when it comes over, it prints onto there. Mm. And, and the, new, the paper comes around on a roller. Yeah. Um, and this was the first printing press that was able to print newspapers rather than just single page leaflets and it was used up until pretty late into the certainly around about the 1920s 1930s um, as the standard machine for printing newspapers it was purchased with donations from um, indonesia and malaysia um, it was installed in another house um, and paid for by indian muslims but when Quilliam came here and expanded, he was able to bring the printing press into this um, building. From here, and it's a huge work really, from here he, the community print the present newspaper on, this machi on a machine similar to this. This is not the original. Um, the original was lost a long time back. But we found this machine in a, in a farm um, in Derbyshire, a farm barn in the Dales in Derbyshire, um, covered in hay. Um, and the farmer said he had one. We, we put adverts out. It said we were looking for one. The farmer got in touch with I got one. <laughs> and we, we drove down there. We picked it up. And we, we took the hay off. And we loaded it. How did he get it? Could it be the original one? He, he, no, maybe. He was a collector of Victoriana, this yeah. guy. He had this huge barn full of amazing stuff. Unbelievable. It was like a museum in there. It was all covered in straw and hay. And, and he's, he was very old. He was going, you know of a man who was approaching very advanced age and his daughter was, was inheriting the farm and she wanted to get rid of all this stuff oh, her yeah, father had yeah, collected yeah. 